What's up guys, Brian here with BPS Customs, and I know I had said a few videos back that I wouldn't be releasing any more content where I talk about Ryzen without having the actual products in hand, but in light of recent events, I felt it would be prudent to at least talk about AMD's upcoming release. So yesterday, AMD held a press conference in San Francisco where they officially launched the first CPUs based off of their new Zen architecture, a project that is years in the making. The first Ryzen SKUs to be available for purchase are the Ryzen 7 1700, 1700X, and 1800X. Now this by no means encompasses the entire Ryzen product stack, but I think it's a fantastic idea that AMD is choosing to come out swinging. These are the three highest end chips that have been speculated to exist, and for the most part, the leaks were correct. The 1700 will release for $329 and compete directly with Intel's i7-7700K on price. In fact, it's about $20 cheaper and has double the thread count, making its actual performance more in line with the Broadwell E6800K. AMD showed off a bunch of demos at the press event where the 1700 trounced chips from Intel at both synthetics benchmarks as well as gaming performance. With a base clock of 3 GHz and a boost clock of 3.7 GHz, this 65 watt TDP chip is shaping up to be a game changer. 65 watts means that this will be a power efficient chip that should likely be able to see significant overclocks even on air coolers. And in fact, it's the only one of the three announced SKUs to come packaged with AMD's new Wraith Spire cooler. Hopefully the Wraith cooler will allow the chip to boost up even higher than advertised using AMD's new XFR technology, or extended frequency range. I spoke a bit about this in my initial Ryzen video during CES, which you can check out at the link in the video description. The next chip in the lineup is the 1700X, which will be slightly more power hungry at 95 watts TDP. Base clock on this chip is 3.4 GHz, and it will boost up to 3.8 on demand. Again, being able to adequately cool this processor will be key in extracting maximum performance, as AMD's XFR will be in full effect. At $399, the direct competitor to this chip is the 6800K as far as price goes, but they actually showed it off achieving a higher Cinebench R15 multi-threaded score than Intel's flagship $1100 6900K, which makes me feel terrible because that's what I have in my system. And finally, we come to the performance king of the Ryzen lineup, the 1800X. While $499 is clearly not just chump change, if Cinebench and Handbrake tests can be believed, this 95 watt part will be the bargain of all bargains compared to its competition. 8 cores and 16 total threads running at a base clock of 3.6 GHz and boosting up to 4000 MHz already gives it a leg up on the lower clock 6900K and it runs on less power and costs less than half as much. These three chips will be available on March 2nd, and you can pre-order them now on Amazon and Newegg. I've left a link below so you can check them out. Now the reason that I think it's so important for AMD to put their best foot forward here is that if they had released the lower end SKUs first, all the hype, goodwill, and anticipation that has built up over the past two years would have been completely forgotten, and people would inevitably have said that AMD had let them down again. By coming out swinging, AMD is definitely putting the pressure back on Intel, who has already released a statement discussing their 8th generation of desktop processors as a response. Seeing as 7th generation Kaby Lake literally just was released, this seems pretty premature, and if Intel was not actually worried, they probably would have just been content to sit back on their 80% market share and count their dollars. Judging by the results of all the tests shown off yesterday, as well as the press release information that I received in my inbox this morning, I'm pretty pumped to get my hands on some hardware for testing and builds. I'll have both the Ryzen 7 1800X and the Ryzen 7 1700 on hand on launch day. So get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any coverage. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.